What you mean you don't know Panda? She's dope. What you mean? What you mean? What you mean? What you mean? What is poppin' YouTube? Welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Dope Ass Panda, and today I'm gonna be teaching you guys how you can create your own custom ombre. A little bit later in this video, I'll definitely get into why you might need to create your own ombre, but before we get into that, we're gonna jump right into the hair that you guys are gonna need to create this look. So you have two options. The first option is you can use a 32 inch braiding hair, which is typically braiding hair that is made for kids. This one that I'm holding is the Expressions Lil Looks, or you can take regular braiding hair and cut it and refeather it yourself. For this video, I'm actually going to be doing both. I'm gonna be using the 32 inch braiding hair and I'm also gonna be using hair from my own collection, the Dope Collection, that I'm gonna be cutting and restretching. And I will talk about why a little later in this video. And then to create my ombre, I'm gonna be using two different colors. I'm gonna be using burgundy and rose gold and these are both from expressions braiding hair and i'm going to be feeding these in at the bottom to create the ombre look so i'm just replaying this clip so that you guys are able to see how i have that hair laid out you guys can see i have two different trays one for the black at the top and the second tray is for the burgundy and rose gold that i'm going to be feeding in so because my client wants darker roots, I'm gonna start by feeding in that darker hair color. And I'm gonna stop when I have about two to three inches left to braid because I'm gonna actually be feeding in the ombre color at the ends. You can choose to feed in the black hair and then feed in the color right away, or you can complete a whole row of the black hair and then go in and do the color. Whatever works for you. I like to do a whole entire row with the black and then I just go in and I add the color at the ends. Just kind of faster for me because I can kind of get into a groove. These are a medium size for me. If you guys are interested in learning about my medium size pre-parting or how many braids I do, I will link some helpful videos in the top right section for you guys so that you guys can know exactly how I approach my medium size knotless braids. So I'm gonna start by feeding in the burgundy hair and don't worry guys, I will slow this down for you guys to see in a second. But my base color is going to be the burgundy and I'm gonna be doing highlights of the rose gold. I have been wanting to do this color combo for a really long time and I finally just got around to doing it. I actually wanted to do it back in February for Valentine's Day, but I think that it is a super cute color combo. So I don't like to tuck right away because I feel like it doesn't give it a natural look and I love a natural ombre. So basically what I'm doing is I'm taking the burgundy hair in and I'm feeding it. One piece is gonna go into the right side, the other piece is gonna go into the left side and I'm feeding the hair underneath. And I'm going to let the black show until it basically runs out. Remember, we are using 32 inch braiding hair. And then the bottom will be the full solid burgundy or rose gold color. Like I said, this is just a preference for me because I feel like any ombre is not gonna go straight from one color to the other color. That would just be like weird looking, right? So I feel kind of like the same way with braiding hair, but that is just my preference. Like I said, some people like to tuck right away. Um, some people don't, so. Yeah, that's just how I'm gonna be showing you guys. I think that this would be a beginner method because obviously tucking is a lot harder. Um, so if you're trying this for the first time, I would definitely recommend having a little bit of a gradient before you go into that bottom color. So let's talk about why you would want or need to create a custom ombre. Well, the first and most obvious answer is they may not have the ombre color that you want. So if you are trying to do a unique color combo, then it would make sense to create it yourself because Obviously a brand may not carry it, but I'm not sure how many of you guys have actually purchased um, brands of hair that are already pre ombre -ed. I know this happens with Expressions and sometimes Spectra Easy Braid. You'll purchase an ombre, let's just say 1B27, which is a black to a honey blonde, and you open up the pack and you can see a lot of the honey blonde color at the top of the root area, which is supposed to be all black. That literally drives me insane. In addition to that, when I do find brands that really truly go from black to like a 27 or black to blonde or black to burgundy, they just really don't dip well. So I've started just creating my own ombre blends because I'm like, you know what, it just defeats the frustration. I know my client is getting exactly what they want. Um, I can color match and everything and also a lot of um ombre colors they only go from one b to whatever color so let's say you have a client whose hair starts out as a four um or even a two then you can really create a custom color for that client 
So yeah, I thought it would be really cool to show you guys how you can achieve this on your own. Um, and it doesn't even have to be black to another color, you guys. You can totally do this like if you want to go red to blue or yellow to orange. Um, you know, there's a lot of different unique color combinations that you guys can do and you guys can create your own ombre. And I think you guys will love the way it turns out. I am going to be doing a couple different custom ombre colors on my channel just because I like to be different and I like to have fun. So if there are any colors or color combos that you guys would like to see, let me know down in the comment section and I'll see if I can find a model to recreate it. Now, the last thing I want to talk about is why I am using Expressions 32 inch hair and why I am also pre-stretching the Dope collection. And the reason why is because, so let's say at the nape of the neck, if you're using the 32 inch braiding hair, it's great, it's fun, you can ombre, um, it works perfectly. But when you get to the top of your client's hair, you would have to feed in way more of that hair because it's so short, right? And you kind of want your ombre to sit or to transition to the color around the same area. I'm not sure if that makes sense for you guys. So I like to pre-stretch my own braiding hair because that way I can tailor the length to what I need it to be for the top section of my client's hair because obviously the black is gonna need to fall a lot longer in that area. Um, some people don't mind and they don't mind the color starting up a little bit higher, but a lot of my clients don't really like the color sitting where their face is, so they want the color to start below their chin level. Um, and so in that instance, it would just be easier for me to um, pre-stretch my own hair. The 32 inch braiding hair or any short braiding hair, you want to remember like if you're trying to extend it and make it longer with the 32 inch braiding hair, you get a lot more flyaways. So you want to be careful with doing that. Um, but it is great for like the nape area and even just a couple rows at the top. But when you get to those last three to four rows at the top of your client's head, sometimes I just prefer to pre-stretch my own braiding hair and keep it going that way. So yeah, I'm going to let you guys watch me um, finish this style out before we talk about the finishing touches you guys can see that i am using my assistant today i have amani i've been using an assistant lately just so i can get my clients in and out it's a lot easier what my assistant will do is obviously prep hair help break down cleat the floor area clean around where we're working and dip my clients for me um, sometimes i let them do all the finishing touches it kind of just depends on um, what style that i'm doing and what i have going on next but it's been really beneficial for me with just cutting time i mainly started use a lot utilizing all my assistants when i was pregnant but still even when i'm not pregnant i still kind of have them come and help me out from time to time so i'm gonna let you guys watch me feed in this hair um, one last thing I want to say before I leave because I know people are gonna say well how do you did you know where to put the rolls gold pieces I kind of just eyeballed it out a little bit like you know I put a couple in the back a couple on the side I really had no method to my madness but there's really only like maybe six braids that have the rose gold color I didn't do too much but I love the way that this turned out so I'm really really excited for you guys to see my finished look All right, so let's talk a little bit about the finishing touches. You guys can see here that I am taking my scissors and I am cutting off any flyaways. Typically, I would do this for any braids, but with ombre and creating your own ombre, this is really, really important because right where the braiding hair transitions, you tend to get a lot of flyaways. And I said that a little bit earlier in this video, but you really wanna make sure that you um, trim those off. Typically when I'm braiding, I don't really have to do this because I braid down with product. It's just my preference and the product will tame a lot of those flyaways. Um, but like I said, when I'm creating my own custom ombres, you definitely get a lot of flyaways where that black hair is ending and the color is beginning. So you wanna make sure you just really trim that off. When I dip these braids, I'm going to try to dip all the way up to where that transition is. If I have a client who's natural and who's really iffy about having the hot water touch their natural hair, um, then I won't do it. But typically my clients don't mind. I mean, their natural hair is tucked, so it really is, you know, it's not like anything crazy, but 
yeah, like I'm really excited for you guys to see the way that this turned out. Um, like I said, I'm gonna be dipping it through that transition. What it does when you dip up high and you dip through the transition, it just makes it like just blend even better. You guys can see there that it just blends so nicely and I cannot wait for you guys to see the finished look. So we are done with the dipping process. I absolutely love the way that these dipped. You guys know that I don't use Expressions anymore because I use my own brand, the Dove Collection, but I love the way Expressions dips and I would always recommend as a backup. So here is my finished look, guys. I absolutely love the way that these turned out. If you guys love them, drop red and pink hearts in the comment section down below. Like I said, if there's another color combo that you guys would like to see, let me know and I'll get it out to you guys. But I'm so happy with the way that these turned out. I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for supporting my channel and I hope this video was helpful. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and I will catch you guys in my next video. What you mean you don't know Panna? She's dope. What you mean? 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 What you mean?